Hey guys, welcome to part two of Let's Play Vampire. Alright, once again we made it to the turquoise bar and met up some citizens and we we saved Sean from William Bishop and we got a sample of his blood and we headed to the Pembroke Hospital and we helped Milton with his picture. So now we're on chapter two this time. Missing ingredients will be tough. I might try wrong target. Let's find out who is spying on Thelma. Okay. Wasted too much energy for so little result. But before I go, let's check our map. There's gotta be something in the back. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? Yeah. I should investigate. It's gotta investigate, guys. Where could it possibly be? Oh, so this is where all the dead bodies are. There's some ceilings. Crumpled letter. Let's check for some collectibles right now. Nope. We get crumpled letter. Good. More key. More of these message. Econs. Elwood's medical file. Letter. So, that. Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. <laughs> Those two have hidden their affections well. Yeah, Milton Hooks is available. Thomas Elwood is available. And Harvey Fittick is available. available. Sabrina Cavendish is available. Yeah, sometimes hints will fail. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening. That's the personal question. You seem worried about the safety of your family. And it's obviously the reason why your wound troubles you so much. I cannot give up on my children now. They both need me living. What about their mother, if I may ask? She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. Wow. Yeah, I wouldn't mesmerize her eyes if I were you. If I want to get a good ending, I'm not to kill citizens. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. Very much. All hints have been done. What's that? Probably talk to Milton and Pippa. Oh, sweet girl. Reads me like a book. Where could Milton possibly be? I might talk to him. I'm quite. Right. Thank you for your. Good evening, Doc. And good evening. All right. 
Nothing there. Good bot. Bridges. Good evening. Good evening. Let's talk to about Milton. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pippa. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being useful? By abusing the sick and poor? No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Why do you do it? Why not? Most of the sick who paid for a bed are already dead. Or will be soon. Don't you see the futility of all this? In your position, I would suggest a more elaborate defense. Cynicism will not save you. This isn't cynicism. It's realism. What's cynicism? You still need me, Dr. Reed. And you know it. Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together, and I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first. Even though Milton would say it was his to protect me. That's it. Goodbye now. Where is Milton? Good evening, Miss Hutton. Need blood doctor. I'll leave. Back back, right. Let's talk to no, let's talk to our Elwood. Good evening. Evening. Real cause of injury. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. It was an accident. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Reconstructive surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Oh, crud. The hint failed. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Some hints will fail. Tell me what really happened then. I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. You just picked a bad choice, Jonathan. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. <laughs> Bitch never woke me up. I can't believe Left I me just to burn. missed one hint. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. But the suffering continues. Why would the hint fail? You lost the hint. The daily routine. <laughs> yeah. Probably up there. Anyone could it. This guy is at a level 7. But before we enter in there, we're gonna open this thing. Okay, we got one watch and five shillings. Let's take on these Freeland rookies and cadets. Oh, yeah. 
whispering punks. He's Ouch. like dinner. Now we got the survey mission. Booyah! That's from the guard of Freeman Command Post to the Eastern Patrols object gunfire activity. Hospital survey investigated three days ago. One of our Navy crews heard a rumor about the presence of a female vampire hiding in the Fanbrook Hospital. London East End. All we have here is her first name, Thelma. Your mission is to discreetly go there and observe any suspicious activity concerning said leech. Then we report directly back to us and we will decide what action should be taken. Alright. All good. Now we're gonna go back. Find the local command post of the guard of Freeland. Where does this lead? Yeah, some of these guys can be a real pain in the butt. Especially when you're in a low level. I better take it seriously. Uh-oh. Those guys are a level 18. Honestly, I don't really like those guys. I'm probably scared that I'm going to get my butt kicked. I'll deal with this punk. Wow. Where'd you come from? I'll deal with him. At least he doesn't get in the way. Die. Vampire punk. Hey, you call me least one more time and you're gonna you're gonna get a taste of your own medicine, man. You call me a a friggin' leech? Uh oh. Gotta be done like dinner. Uh oh. That's not good. Yep. My first death. <laughs> Why so many loading screen, man? Hmm. Of course, if I could counter it, it would really help if I can just keep attacking him, keep biting, and let's see. I might use my claws on a higher level. Enemies, like probably the scrolls. The skulls are the worst. Hmm. The only reason why I despise skulls was because they give me a, a heck of a ton of stress. <sighs> Man. If it wasn't for that gunner, I would not have died. Sometimes I'm bad at finding hints and stuff. Oh, rats. They start me at the bridge. Yeah, I don't want to have 
to deal with stupid skulls. What should I do with him? Jeez. How many disgusting dudes are there? The pre rent brawlers are the worst, or even worse. Especially when they're at a level 15. I'll deal with this punk. That hurt you, punk. Yeah, that's right. Whenever you die, you lose a lot of blood. That's no good. Call me a leech one more time, and you're gonna see what happens when you call me a leech. Bombs! Poison gas! Uh oh. Oops. Man, these guys are strong. It's as if nobody cared. What exactly am I supposed to do to kill those punks? I might have to deal with shooters and watch out for fire. That's it. I'll try another way. Should probably switch my weapon. Probably need to switch my weapons to, let's see here, to the scythe. That's it. Let's try the scythe. Why not? Better not mess up, Jonathan. The worst one are the skulls. Especially when they're in a higher level than me. They will easily kill me. Hopefully I'll try again. I gotta get used to this. See here. No. Wrong button. Is spot one? Fire. See here. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably should probably get up there and I might want to lure them to a trap or something. That guy is resistant. You know what? Let's just switch our weapons first, shall we? Let's see, common machete, do damage. This takes 30 stamina. I mean, what the heck? Any serums? Let's see here. No, no serums there. Big thirst. Yeah, that would be the idea. I'm gonna try Shadow Veil. Burn it, boys! Parry! Okay, yeah, parrying. Sometimes it doesn't really help. Ow! Yeah, it slows you down. That guy is my problem. This guy's got a heck of a ton of defense, if you ask me. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe this scythe didn't work. Mm-mm. So what is the best weapon to deal with bad guys? Please write down the comments below. I'm trying to stay out of trouble and... I'm trying to win this with a bunch of annoying brawlers. Why do brawlers have to be this irritating? I don't understand it, literally. Mm. 
I probably need to lure that punk. One punk over there. And if the other one tries to shoot me, I'll have to dodge it. Maybe I gotta get used to this from now on, okay? Okay, let's... I'll switch my weapon. I'll use the stake. Let me see, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm gonna have to use the plug in. Let's try the plug in, why not? I'll try another way. Yeah, I'm low on blood. Oh, wrong button. Don't hit the wrong button, please, Jonathan. Let's try... Why do you start off with 20 blood? That doesn't make darn sense. Let's try this one for size, I guess. Plug in, and use steak. Huh. Well, let's see here. Probably need to put that there, but... This requires... I know this kind of requires patience. If I see any rats, I gotta eat one. Fill up the blood. In any case... Hmm. Probably need to fight this punk. Who are you calling a stupid beast, you stupid beast? Alright. See if I can lure him here. Probably need to do that. Let's do it. One, two, three! Uh, I didn't see that coming. Fine! You're shooting me like a jerk! Alright, that does it. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe, maybe not. Why are these guys have to be this annoying? Maybe if I had full blood, I might be able to, to use my claws to beat the living daylights out of a high level enemy. So if I use ultimate... <sighs> Why do I keep dying all the time? It doesn't make any darn sense. No, I'm not going to scream and lose my temper. Right now. All I got to do is take my time. But then again, let's pick up some items. Aluminum powder. Don't go up there. All right, I'll have to be invisible. Let's see here, check my map, please. That's going that way. It'll take... Oh crud. Guess my idea didn't work, at least. A pre-run brawler. Why am I hearing annoying scro ferocious scrawls? They're worse. Yeah, the ferocious types are much even worse. If you spot one, fire. The brawlers are the are my problems. Die, 
Let's do a hand on this one. Alright, punk. Here we go again. No, that didn't work. Okay. Is the only one who switched in the knife? Wrong button! Stop hitting the wrong button! Please! Let's see here. Common machete. Yeah, machetes are for the weak. Come on! Yeah, clawing them may help. Maybe. Oh, crap. That's it. I'm getting the heck out of there. Oh! Hey, leave me alone, buddy. You wanna see death? You don't shoot me, man. Come on. I'll do it one last time. Whoa! Come on. Those things have been really crazy. This is seriously crazy. Wow. You die, you punk! Not fast enough. Oh, I can drink this blood to get my health back. You have my claws, you crazy punk. Uh-oh. I'm good. Or not. Good as toast. This is getting harder than I thought. Oh crap. Skulls. Okay. No, don't go up there. I'm calming down a little bit. Fire, dude. Probably need to try better. Right. Yeah. Yeah, when he's done firing. I'll have to get an opportunity. Let's see how it likes a bit of fire. No. Let's see you like this one. Buddy. Yeah, lowering the stamina might help kill bad guys. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, that's good. I think I'm all better now. The risk, the pre run rookie are my biggest problems. Let's see here. There are two of them. Make that three from now on. I better make that three. Let's see. Step away, sir. All right. Let's see if I can. He's He's... Uh oh, that hurt. That totally hurt. No escape now. All I gotta do. Probably call these. up. Oops. Oh man. What exactly can I do? Forget it. I'll do it later. I'll probably do it later. Right after I get stronger and stronger and better. I 
I mean, how strong are these stupid Prewin dudes? These brawlers and and rookies. Why are these guys are on a higher level than me and they can take me out really easily? That doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. Okay. I'll probably need to do that one more time. Let's see, which is this where did this area lead to? I can't exactly tell. That's, oh, an annoying skull. The ferocious skull. That guy, he's my problem. Most definitely. Do the countering. Great, man. Can you do this? Watch out. When he lunges onto you, what? be careful. Be careful with that punk. What? Hey, get up there and fight me, coward. Okay. Now you're going down. I want some more blood so I can kick your butt. Yeah, your roaring ain't gonna help me. Cobble this. Oh wow, he can kill me instantly. Yeah, level 18 can knock down a knock down a level six foe that easily. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna do any investigations right now. Investigations can be difficult. But I'll do I did half of that, but from now on I'll have to get to the morgue. I'll do the investigation later. Thelma's investigation, that is. I'll do it later. <sighs> man, oh man, oh man. If it wasn't for that annoying skull, he would have totaled me like a jerk. How many times have I died? I'm just gonna get some of the blood. Why do you start off with 20 blood when you, when you die? When you start on your checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah, he bites me. Yeah, that's a heck of a lot of health that he's got there. I'll just go get some blood and not provoke him anymore. That ferocious skull. He's worse. I mean, seriously worse. Okay, I got some more blood. No, I don't have to worry about dealing with you. But, in other words... Yeah, yeah, just forget about it, let's go. I'll come back when I'm fully upgraded. When I when I'm at a higher level, I'll come back. Don't worry. Sorry about all that, guys. Yeah. 
and it's not a big deal. Okay? I'll probably go back in there and, and hunt down some annoying enemies. Let's see here. Come on, you skull cowards. Come out and face me like a man. Don't have time, honestly. I'll have to get in there right now. Got some shotgun shells, so that's fine. Alright, we're heading in the moor, guys. on load okay we got 10 XP find some ferrous tartrate find some quinine sodium hydrochloride yeah, we're gonna be finding some bad guys in there you know what I'm probably need to get them probably need to get rid of the marker that's good. Let's see here. Last file. What's looking there? Let me ask you a question. Has anybody ever tell you that high level enemies are really annoying? Especially when they're higher than me? I did. We got a level 6 rogue skull over there. Let's see, we can hit, we'll run to him this area before we face him. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. Yeah. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. One down, two to go. These skulls are eating, are eating up dead, dead folks. Come on, eat some blood, man. What the heck are you doing? Don't dis- oh, don't counter me. Can you do this? to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. Okay, we got... The sickness moves faster than influenza. Got the cigarette case. Now we got quinine. We're gonna find sodium hydro... hypochlorant. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Found the key. Vial of alcohol. Booyah! Oh, that's not the time to pick up the item. You just gotta deal with this punk over here. You can't escape when you're being getting bit by a skull. All you gotta do is counter. Whoa. That'll show him who's boss. <laughs> Anywho, let's keep looking. Got some bullets. I cannot enter. You can't enter in there. 
So, should probably get up there. Got a watery rich blood sample. Nope. Hmm. Have you already been there? Uh oh. I just did a disappearing act. Skulls can use their shadows to hit you. Isn't it annoying? These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Ugh. Disgusting. Alright, you disgusting skull. You're going down. That's the way you wanted? Take this and that. Kaboom! Okay, that's one. Yeah, I'm in a higher level than that skull. Uh-oh, there's another dude. Ouch! Yeah, skulls can take away your health. Yeah, when they're blocking, do not attack. They will counter you. Maybe it's best to drink some blood. So that you can get your health back. Your maximum health, that is. You're dead. Hopefully pick up some items. Got some shillings. Another rogue skull. Hmm. This dude is going down. So what do we got here? It's locked. Use Lista Knight. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press Y to directly absorb blood. Cool. Wonder what that's for. This looks like a scalpel. Eight blood absorption. Let's see. Should I upgrade some stuff? All I need is a used machete. Yeah, the leveling would really help. Sure, what the heck? Death report. A new citizen investigation is available. Press the black to open the local investigation menu. Sam Connor. Citizens' investigations are displayed here, categorized by districts. You can now start a new citizen quest by tracking it with X, then accessing to your map to locate the area to explore. Okay. In other words, I actually do not want to. To be honest, I don't want to go over there. And Mr. Connor's those. injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Yeah, you better. Stun him. You gotta be far away so that you can stun him. Gotcha. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Let's Alright. Okay, we got a mini boss battle. This guy is John Doe. He's at a level seven, and he's gonna be a big pain in the butt. Give me so many shadowy friend to attack. What are you doing? Yeah, it's best to counter. Ow. That totally hurts, man. Oh. 
This is gonna hurt you more than me, man. Literally. I don't care. You resisted? Yeah. Boom. Oh, come on, I'm gonna drink your blood. Enough is enough. What are you gonna do? Kick my butt? Yeah. Gotta hit him like three times. Oh, what the heck are you doing? Why do you move so fast like Albert Wesker? Is this a Shadow Clan Jutsu? Are you Naruto? Stop that. I could just counter him with his butt. Yeah, I'm about to go down. Yeah. Gotta wait for three seconds. Gonna regenerate! Oh my god! Stop that! Almost dead. Almost dead. Some blood. Uh oh. Yes. These Take that. skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Very tempting. Very tempting, if you ask me. Okay, we got some sodium hypochlorite. Hy Dangerous hypochlorite, but efficient in the proper dosage. Grab the treatment for fatigue. Watery rich blood sample and an enigmatic formula. Let's craft. You have enough components to craft a medicine and treatment for fatigue. Fatigue. Ta-da! Hopefully... Let's upgrade our machete to make it stronger. If you upgraded a weapon with a module, a broad blade often used by sailors and fishermen. Yay! That's a level two. You can only pick one. You can't use both. Say we use something recyclable. Booyah! We need more common handle parts. Okay. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Let's get out of the morgue, Jonathan. Got some bullet. Stupid skulls. Here they come. Get ready. Oh, 
squad. Ha! Serves you right. Alright, now to go back up. That door's blocked. The area we've been to is the office. My health slowly regenerates over time. But seriously, how do I do it? I think main missions would be very helpful first. I would rather do it rather than do investigations because it can be totally irritating and annoying. And even painful. But. All right, got to make sure that the district is totally healthy. Bring the medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room, please. <laughs> it's locked, all right. Whoa, why? Healthy. Mortimer. It's locked. Yep. Who is this mysterious? Dorothy, let's give it to her. There she is. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Okay. Diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check his medical status. A rat in the hospital. Bring the medicine is it done. This hospital is Talk to Edgar Swansea. Don't waste your time. But in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's see here. Let's check on Mortimer. Gotta give him something, right? Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. Diseases. Press RB to check the medical status of the citizen. Healing a citizen will increase his blood quality and will reward you with XP. The health status of the district will also improve. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Give him medicine. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude. For that. Thanks. And he's totally healed, guys. Totally healed. He's recovering. No blood loss, so that's great. No hints are required, that's for sure. I have to go now, sir. So from now on, we're going to go talk to Edgar Swansea. Okay, the blood temptation. Remember, citizen's blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens of your mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. 
With you at our side, Dr. Reed, I know that Pembroke will prevail and survive this epidemic. Yeah. That's true. He's up there in his office. That's that's for sure. Swansea. There he is. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my is he friend, holding a have skull? a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. Yeah. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead, unalive, immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Why don't you call him Edgar from now on? There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. Go on, the mate. Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stoll, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Okay. Talk to the hospital benefactor. Huh. Definitely need to talk to Milton. Hey, Milton. Good evening. Good evening. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. Yeah. Extorting money. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. Have you heard of any other? There are a what kind? I'm not in. I'd like to see wise choice, Doctor. Okay. Greece. Mm. 
You can also sell junk too. Milton shotgun. Man, that's a lot of shillings. Okay, now that that's done, let's go. Let's talk to this mysterious woman. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. Her name's oh, Lady goodness. Ashbury. And we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> yeah, poor guy. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a van. The lady who saved me that night before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions. But our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. Okay. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. Whoa. Is it true? Now aren't you the blunt one? Excuse my impertinence, your ladyship. This is not an interrogation. I assure you that this line of questioning is in your best interest. In all honesty, I'm not simply a patron to the hospital. My visits serve a dual purpose. A dual purpose. Dr. Swansea has been treating my condition with a revolutionary technique of blood transfusion. It seems you are a specialist in the domain. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without Harriet her hearing Jones. about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Lady Ashbury's a redhead. Okay. We gotta talk to Harry in the hospital. Okay. I should probably talk to Dr. Tibbetts. Good evening. Doctor. 
Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time for such triviality, my dear colleague. We're here to save lives. He's right. He's here to save lives, you know. No hints. Goodbye, Doctor. T no hints yet. Okay, that's fine. Clay Cox is fatigue. Probably need to go to the hideout first. I need a rest so that I can evolve. I'll have to search for some more items, if you don't mind. All good. I need to rest for now. Let's see here. Shadow Mist, Blood Spear, Blood Capacity. Fast regeneration, increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. Probably need to try spring. Let's see. Gotta pick my poisons. This costs 1,300 XP. I'll try coagulation. I'll try that. That's worth 600. We're at a level 7. Big thirst. You get 40% blood. Oh, next, Let's see here. Let's increase our health. So that's level two. This rage. Oh wow, lag. The heck. Pulse. You need two thousand XP. Darn. Tada. Oops, looks like I'm going to need to get 300. Major district events. Every night the consequences of your actions may improve or de degrade the district of health status. They can also be degraded due to disease spreading among citizens. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district's health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It is for you to decide a district's fate. Oh, wow. Good to know that Mortimer's healthy again. Nice. Totally nice. Let's check. 
We need fatigue. We need another fatigue. Yeah, definitely two fatigues. Two fatigue medicine. All right, we're at a level eight. Cool. Gotta talk to Harriet in the hospital for now. Anemia, fatigue. All I need is sodium hydrochromite solution. Okay. That will decrease the stamina. Yeah, I better pick my poisons. Ten percent. Let's upgrade our steak. Cool. Increase stun at three stun points when the weapon hits. Increase stamina with a consumption by ten percent. Oh. All right, that's that's totally good. It's totally good, guys. Now let's go. Okay, we got Ferris Tartrate. Exactly as Harriet. Simple on these nurses with no respect. So this is the patient that 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 Dorothy was talking about. But first of all, you got a small bag of junk. Sappho, Royal Garden Hall Theater. Clyde Fitch presents Doris Fletcher. Sappho. Hmm. Talk to her. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> How brave, threatening an old defenseless woman. You, don't you know how long I've been a patient here. Woman. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to I'm have a chat. I'm here to fight you, ma'am. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard Whoa. there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit up the soul's vein. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's... Whores, all of them, they oh, can't keep their legs man. up. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Ugh. Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. Okay. Find Nurse Pippa Hawkins. We gotta find Dorothy Crane and the patients and staff might know something. Gwyneth Bennett Brannigan. I'll start my investigation with them. 
Sorry, Talk to Pippa. That's our first one. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps the old crone alive. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Wow. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Yeah, it's done. Goodbye, no. Next, we're gonna go to find Nurse Brannigan. Where are you, ma'am? This is no time for years or so. It's just the last thing our patients. Of course, it is. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Let's ask her. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work criminal here backgrounds? all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Nope, nothing else. Let's ask about a strange man visiting nurses. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Nope. Goodbye, nurse. She never has. Another night. Surely I can back. Probably need to talk to Rakesh. Got some opium. Okay. I oh, know. Now we gotta go talk to mm, Nurse Crane, but for now, why don't we go over there and fight those bad guys? I want to go over there one last time. Okay. You ready, man? Oh, crud. Yeah. Uh oh. Get away from me. Get away from me. You call me a leech one more time, buddy. Let's see what happens. Uh oh. Let's see what happens. Call me a leech one more time. Call me leech. See what happens. Yeah, I can tell that he's totally dead. Probably need a stun. I can't. Oh crud! Uh oh. Get lost. Yeah, got some screw and I got some shillings for now. Trying to get more XP. Can you try this on for size? What's wrong with you, man? I got some blood. Okay, don't be reckless, Jonathan. When he points out that gun, make sure you dodge it. Get 
even does it two times. Whoa. I got more blood. Almost dead. Ha! You're down for the count, bud. Totally down for the count. Booyah. Ah, I feel better. Come on, load. Yeah. These guys? Four times more obnoxious. Hey, punk, can you do this? No. Could you do it? No. Can you? Alright. It's one on one time. Don't make me look weak. Oh. This three hit combo really is crazy. That hurt. What's wrong with you? You can scream all you want. I'm gonna make you stutter. Yeah. I better make sure my stamina's full. Done like dinner. How would you like it if I set you on fire, punk? Level 16, I'm not going all the way over there until I level up. But at least I did the right thing. Don't go after that ferocious skull. They're annoying punks. My frames are going down. doing I should probably upgrade yeah so much easier like that way I don't want to have to go all the way to the office you need 2,000 XP Capacity. Body condition. You need 600. Hard fighting. Nope. Difficulty. Aggressive. Body. I need. I need 600. I'll use physical prowess so that I can increase my stamina. But I need 600 uh, anyway. The following night. Oh my god. It's losing blood quality. So every time you sleep, something bad happens.
Oh, it's serious now. Stable. If it's hostile, that's bad. Because I might get that achievement making these civilians hostile. The flower's mm. dying. It needs water. Yeah, it needs water. Let's see. Let's analyze the enigmatic formula. Got a watery rich blood samples. Cold, bronchitis, pneumonia. Sepsis. We need two sodium. In that case, let's see if we can find Rakesh. We're going to talk to Rakesh, guys. We'll talk to him. He's got anemia. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Yep. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty stars. <laughs> as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, oh, I like that. You must like brunettes. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. <laughs> Boss had cut me good. <laughs> that man was determined yeah. to murder you. Well, you almost died. He what a surprise. Cry. First time I met him, he nearly shit himself. <laughs> Fucking coward. <laughs> oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Ah, oh, new hints available. Perhaps you're right. Maybe only the strongest will survive in these dark times. If there must be only one, in the end, make no mistake, I'll be the winner. Personal questions. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the wet boot boys. One day I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. You know, that guy reminds me of the, one of Cruella de Vil's henchmen. I'll leave you. Enough about that. A pig star smell better. Before we go talk to Nurse C 
Ukraine. We're gonna find Rakish. Well, I need to talk to him. Mr. Chadana, I'm coming, sir. Good evening, Dr. Reed. We'll trade. Please show me what. Of course. Let's see here. Opium. Ergo to mine. Potassium permagante. Codeine. They're worth 15. Good gravy. I don't want to have to waste shillings. Okay, that's all good. It's good for now. Now let's talk to Dr. Crane. Nurse Crane, that is. Nurse, where exactly are you? Uh-oh. Good gravy. I'm not gonna see... No, we're not going to see Harriet Jones. Yeah, that door's locked. Now, where exactly could she be? Zoom in, man. Zoom in. A custom marker will probably help. I don't have time to talk to Dr. Swansea right now, so... Let's collect some objects. At least that's the right thing to do. We need four of these. Fatigue. Before that, let's check the citizens menu. Dyson Delaney. Fatigue. This is going to be really annoying. Messed up. If I don't cure all those citizens, something terrible is totally going to happen. Fatigue. Watery rich blood sample, let's analyze it. Blood serum for the vampires. Let's see here. We need clove essence. Purine. We need to get eight sodium sodium solution, that's for sure. So that we can cure clay. Oh, there's a mysterious guy over there. Who is that guy? I can't tell who he is. Eavesdrop. Press press the left stick to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving suspicious, suspiciously, their heart will emit a distinctive glow. By touching a citizen, you'll unlock a special interaction. Look for Dorothy Crane. Okay. Better look for... Where's Dorothy? Gotta find Dorothy in this area. Bobster. Okay, I'm gonna remove the marker. Oh, come on. Probably need to get in. I definitely need to get in.
You're heading the wrong way, Jonathan. Where's Dorothy? Not you, Clay. Let's check the map. She's probably down there. Okay. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah. I ought to see someone at the hospital. There's a mobster over there. Dorothy's on the ship. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck him. I don't like hospitals or doctors. Watch your language. Man. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. Thank you, I guess. Where's Dorothy going? Okay, we found her. We gotta re retrieve the thugs in the sewers. Yeah, if I go over there, he just disappears. He appears to be missing. The heck? Yeah, he just disappears. Nothing to worry about. Let's go. I was gonna talk to him. But oh well. That's a rogue skull. I'll deal with him. Come on. Die, punk. We are... Nine twelve essence. Nice. White Chapel. The docks. We're heading back to the docks. A rogue skull. Sure, I can kick his butt. Uh oh, that hurt, man. But that's really impressive. Me, God. Did you do this? It hurts you more than it hurts me. Skill, booyah. Large knife, a large and beautiful knife with a name engraved on the blade. This must be Clay Cox's knife. A fine blade. No wonder he wants it back. Yeah. What's the new investigation that you're gonna have to do? Bring back his knife to its owner. I'll have to do that for now. What does it take to load? No, don't stop, Jonathan. Yeah, he's back. Should I talk to him like this? Please, sir. 
I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, ca I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. <laughs> can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survive the trenches suffer from musophobia. He hates rats. I'll see what I can what do. What exactly is musophobia? So... What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. Taking care of each other since we came back from the front. They're best friends. Can't tell. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. T treatment, I mean. To get Why we ran steel. over Newt... Ran into Newton. Just need to feel better, sir. Where was your friend the last time you saw him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. You couldn't go after him. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald Thatcher. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. See you, man. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Okay. So very nice to meet you, man. Oh! Hey, Doc! Hello. I have found a gift from your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future. Got some shillings. Who knows Booyah! What I might do now. I feel invincible again. You are so cool, man. You are so friggin' awesome, man. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. I better let him live. Gotta do the right thing, that's for sure. Come on. Opium. This guy is five times higher than me. So. I'm not going to go over there right now, so. From now on, I think I'm better off. I want to deal with high-level thugs, like the pretty ones. Probably might run over endangered citizens. I think from now on I better get in there. Okay, we're heading into the sewers right now. Poplar sewers. Retrieve the thug in the sewers. I can't breathe. Oswald, is that you, man? This is the guy that Newton was talking about. Gotta save his life. Codeine. Ergo to mine. Alright. 
This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Yeah, I can tell. I could probably break some logic. Buy more. I'm coming, man. Calm down. Got aluminum powder and aluminum shards. Glass shards, that is. Ugh. So, there are rogue skulls over there. You're gonna get a taste of your own medicine. All right. Die, you skull freak. How do you block? Do he stun blocking? Boom. Gotcha. Skill. Right. Now let's kick his butt. Equal level. Where are you, man? Common bar to cudgel. Sewers right now. There's another rogue skull over here. Let's go up. Citizens are safe. Careful, the endangered citizen may not survive the next night. Go check on them. Claustrophobia. The rogue skulls. You're going down. You leave him alone right now, you bud. You bud and skis. Take that. Right? You okay, man? Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, so and this I'd is, be glad to help so this you, is the guy that Newton was talking first. about. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay, okay. Uh, Oswald I'm Thatcher. Oswald Thatcher, please, I need to get out. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes, yes I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. All right. He has a bit of a headache. 30% loss of blood quality. If he runs out of blood, it's my fault. We need a treatment for a headache. Citizen rescued. You rescued his citizen. You will return his district the following night. You're safe, man. You're totally safe. So the least you can do is stay out of trouble. Alright. But from now on, we have to go and retrieve the thug in the sewers. It's in this area. Oh, wow! We're heading back! We're heading the wrong way. I'll, I'll probably need to talk to Newton.
Wow. We're back. There were two doors to enter in the sewers. I mean, what the heck, man? Are you dead? No, are you dead? Open it! I'll deal with you, punks. If it's a front battle you want, so be it, man. Ready for a fight, man? Seriously, I'm getting burned. What is the matter with you? Yeah, right. I get some more blood. Alright, buddy. Ouch! Enough is enough. Better counter. Once I kill him, I'm gonna hit back. Gotta identify the blackmailer to help Lady Ashbury. Stay back, sir. Oi, yo, stop there. He's mine. Better not do a bonehead move. Dead. I need to check my map. After going into the sewers, I've rescued Newton. We got a free one executioner, and it's gonna be a major pain in the butt. Right? What is he do? Watch yourselves! There's one of them! He's got a He's got a crossbow and he will attack. That hurt. That burns. You scream like Tarzan. <laughs> I like their screams, they're funny. Come on. Gotcha. So, let's see here. We'll remove it.
better deal with this cadet. Ouch. Okay. Gotta watch my stamina. Nothing but rats. We go to mine. Quarantine. Keep out of this area by the order of bo by the order of Board of Health. Health officer. All right. Let's see here. Right in the hospital. I cannot enter. No, you can't enter in there. But. Let's see here. Wrong button. Come on, zoom in. Place that marker right here. That way you will make things easier. Whoa. Yeah, we did it. Well, let's go back to the sewers from now on. I had to do a little brawling just in case. Right. Erase that. Let's go back to the sewers this time. That's it. We're heading back this time. Gotta keep collecting some stuff. Fight some annoying skulls. Oswald has a bit of a headache. I said that last time. So for now, let's go back. Get rid of that marker. Yes, perfect. There we go. So that's where where the blood is coming from. Hmm. A rogue skull. He's weak. Some rats. Don't have to eat the rats. Nothing. Got more items here. Now we're gonna have a boss battle. 
the sewer beast. This guy what is sort of creature absolutely is annoying. He will use his claws to bite you. It's like a werewolf. He's at a level 9 for sure. Yeah. He, he lowers my max health. And he roars. Grabs me. It's the best thing I gotta do is counter that punk. His blood. Don't let him regenerate. Please don't waste your stamina, Jonathan. Just keep stunning him. Ow. Oh, every time he stuns me, I've twice. Literally. I seriously gotta be the worst boss in that one. So dead, man. Takes me away from him. Yes. It's going, Jonathan. Countering until the cows come home. blood. Done like dinner. No Here's what's left of it. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. I see. Nurse Crane's voucher. If you are sick, if you have no money, which you, would whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothy to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Chasku's house and present this coupon. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. 
What is Nurse Crane up to? Yeah. I really must find her. What are we gonna do? It's, it's... You already read that, dude. Let's go to the White Chapel. Come on. Let's get some rats. New collectible, the Bane of the Dragon. The Bane of the Dragon. Awesome. So totally awesome. Light Regeneration Serum. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. I need to save the serum for now. You know that serum thing reminds me of, of the movie Blade. In the Marvel Comics Blade. Yeah, if it if a district's health status drops below the critical threshold or will plunge into chaos, citizens will be reported missing, their quest will be lost, and dangerous creatures will begin to roam the streets. It equals totally bad. And they'll go insane and turn into skulls. I can't tell. But I digress. <sighs> okay. Can you please load? Which white chapel? Slag. So, let's see. Investigations. Ingredients. I better not head over there right now. So, let me check my map one more time. I'll track. It'll be a lot easier than running into bad guys that are on a higher level than me. Check your map, please. Come on up there. There we go. Why do you keep loading all the time, dude? Enemia. Ta da. Bronchitis, pneumonia. I think they get it. Migraine, neuralgia. What could these recipes possibly be?
I'll give him the clay. Hey, Doc. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Give medicine. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm really? sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Ah, nice. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Don't have to go to the pharmacy. But. I really don't have time for this. at your own risk. Hang on, I gotta check the map. Deal with those bogeys. Don't waste my time. Enough. We're going down. Yay, got more blood. Stop that. Seriously, stop. Stop it. Come on, I'm getting low on Bombs. Eat, this. Eat what? Uh oh. Leave me alone. Shut up, skulls. Ouch. Hey, can you do this?
bloody leeches every night. Aye. But the guards are recruiting more and more every year. Couldn't tell. When did you join the guards? Two days ago. This is my first patrol. It's one of the that hurts. That's smart. Buddy. These punks really help. Roger, whoa. More pre win punks. Sorry, sir, no admittance. Die! Die, Vermin! Die? Get some. Take that, Roger. Yeah, he is. He is so strong. Uh oh. Pretty good, I'll give you that. All right, bud. Yeah, his his bracelet is really. God, he's got a lot of stamina. It took a lot more than this to stun him. Stop that. Enough. What's wrong with you? Leave me alone. Leave me alone, buddy. Take six one minute. Uh oh. Can't believe I missed. Come on. Cut it out, bro. Oops. Hey, big mistake, buddy. What are you doing? I ain't losing. Oh, 
wrong. Gotcha. He's finished. Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Yeah. Okay, then. Would you like to know more? Your army needs you. Join at once today. Would you like to know more? Ask at your nearest recruiting office. That's Benjamin. <laughs> oh my god. He's gone crazy. Isn't the name Albert? That's not Albert Wesker. Gotta find a bed. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. H who are you? I'm Dr. Reed. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. What can you tell me about this place? Nothing to say, really. This is where I used to live, and this is where I live now. You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Tramp. You don't have anywhere to go? No family that would welcome you? Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. Yeah. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses. I can tell. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the head, you see, and the boy just, he just faked me last nerve. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is a that? Phantom? Who it is, she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. I do have a bad temper, too. But I hear dogs barking. Benjamin Palmer had migraine. Me, I'll not. That's Albert. Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. He's grumpy. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. She is pretty. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. You've been framed. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Wow. You've been framed, buddy.
dude. Never heard of That's it. Goodbye. I'll not die in some piss stinking alley reeking worse than a week old lavy. Okay, let's talk to him one more time. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. <laughs> let's say goodbye. Goodbye, young man. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. Yeah, he's just being rude. Hey, he's cranky. Actually, I'll not die in some piss stinking alley, breaking worse than a week old lady. Talk to her. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested Florida. in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Mm. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Let's see what she's got. Opium, Virgo to mine, Swanborough portal. Yeah. I'm gonna go into Darius Petrescu. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must he discover has a PhD. who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. He's got bronchitis. That's horrible. It's gotta be on the other side. Here's Dorothy. A strange man was at the door with a pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? And that's her boss. His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just a friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidercott? No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me, just downwind. Okay. Darius Petrescu is now I must built. talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. I'm gonna Nearby talk to the church Richard Nithercroft and Clayton Darby. So then. Is Joe and Hello, young man. I'm Dr. Reed, oh. and I would like to ask you a few questions. Talk to him. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not That's like to enter in our house, you see. 
Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me then. Okay then. Come on in. I'm a Harry, by the way. Even Jonathan Reed. Soaked with glue. We're in Peterson's house for now. Doing it so that we can upgrade or craft our stuff. New collectibles. Oh yeah. Is there anything I can do to craft, please? Oh. This is probably the area where we hear this place is uncraftable. Alright. Why don't we rest? So that we can evolve. Where's the bed? No, it doesn't matter. We'll go for now. Okay. Brack blood is not as potent or tasty as human source, but it will partially refill your blood bar. I'll win this stream for after I rest to evolve. Only I had one of the other recipes for headache, pneumonia, and let's see what else. Bronchitis or migraine. That would really help. Cigarette case, ring. Another one of these. We're in another hideout. How cool. Another dead body. Where are we? Ah, still in the hideout. Box of pills. I'll grab some. Sepsis. Keeg. Bronchitis. Need potassium permagranate. Cold, pneumonia. Okay. That's good. gotta do is rest to evolve. Let's see. Bite. Claws. Definitely need 2,000. Five percent. Which bag? Let's 
try to do this one for size. That's a lot of points. Not enough either. Next day, the following night. Guess what? Serious. Seriously serious. Harry Peterson has a bit of a fatigue. Benjamin Palmer, migraine, Albert Palmer. Fatigue two. Let's see here, one, two, two fatigue. Oh, <gasps> he's totally healthy for now. Good news. Headache, darn. Let's see here, fatigue. Nothing. Let's end the stream, okay? We'll end the stream right after craft more medicines for fatigue. I still need eight. But let's end the stream, okay guys? Seriously. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gable Gaming 5000K. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, see you then.